For Toyota, having weathered 8 million recalled cars. What is the last name? A record $33 million in fines, plus months of bad publicity. Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth? And increasingly vigilant regulators, today's report could not have ended on a better note. The jury is back. The verdict is in. There is no electronic-based cause for unintended high-speed acceleration in Toyotas, period. I told my daughter that she should buy the Toyota Sienna, which she did. It all fits like a well-oiled hinge with what Toyota has been saying for a year, that there's nothing wrong with its high-tech electronics, its multitude of mini processors that control the throttle, and that the unintended acceleration was more a humdrum mechanical issue involving floor mats that bunched and gas pedals that stuck. Problems the transportation department said today are the only known causes for what were many admittedly terrifying and even fatal drives. We're in, we're in trouble. We can't. Well, there's no brake. Hold on. Pray, pray. Pray. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh. The acceleration problem is real, as government testing showed, and as complaints to the government as recently as last month suggest. But engineers from NASA could find no electronic culprit, even after combing 280,000 lines of Toyota software code and bombarding cars with electromagnetic radiation. Indeed, today's panel said the mats and pedals were easily fixed during the mass recalls, and that in any case, the vast majority of reported incidents involved driver error. What most likely happened was pedal misapplication. But critics scoffed at the findings, noting that hundreds of complaints about unintended acceleration have come in after cars were supposedly repaired, and thousands have involved vehicles Toyota never recalled. This agency is not known for its scientific rigor, and this is just another example. The damage to Toyota from all of this has been significant. Profits are off 39% in the last quarter, and the company has slipped from number two in sales in the U.S. market to number three. Katie? And Dean, did any safety recommendations come out of this whole thing? They would very much like to see standardized what's called a brake override in which the brake is always more powerful than the accelerator. They want that across the industry. They believe that will help drivers bring a car to a halt. All right. Katie? Dean Reynolds in Chicago. Dean, thank you.